This is Florida State Headlines. I'm Matt Roush. A $100 million initiative from the U.S. Department of Education's Institute of Education Sciences put some of Florida State University's leading experts to work on a pressing national problem. For many of us, it's something we do every day without even realizing it. We likely take it for granted, but without it, we'd be lost in the world. And yet, there is still an unsettling number of us that cannot seem to master it. So what is it? It is the ability to read. Now you're going to learn to read words that start with C-H. What is the best way to teach a child to read? G. It is a question that has been at the forefront of education and psychology research for the past few decades Chalk. and one the Florida Center for Reading Research at Florida State University has worked hard to answer. Chalk. So hard, says Center Associate Director and Professor of Psychology Christopher Lonigan, that they've got a pretty good grasp on some solutions. And we've gotten really, really good at getting children to be able to decode printed words over the last 20 years or so. A great success by any means, but of course, there's always a but. But now that that problem has uh, largely been solved, uh, we are understanding that, or we're seeing that children don't uh, necessarily comprehend as well as they do. So once they decode the words, once they actually read the words, understanding what the words mean and what the words together mean is something that, you know, becomes apparent. So children may understand how to read and pronounce, say, chip. Chip. But put that word in a sentence alongside other words and suddenly you've lost them. Faced with this new problem and aware of the experts at work in the Florida Center for Reading Research, the Institute for Education Sciences has called on more than a dozen Florida State University faculty to join a nationwide team in its Reading for Understanding initiative, reading into the reading abilities of U.S. students pre-K through 12th grade. So the exciting thing about this IES initiative is they've created this network of over 130 of the very best researchers in reading in the nation. Carol Connor is an associate professor in psychology at Florida State. She is working with Christopher Lawn again on a $20 million funded project to conduct basic research and then make it easier for teachers to implement their findings in the classroom. You know, there are teachers out there going, oh, I don't care if the kid succeeds or not. It's really important for them, for their children to be successful readers and um, they are, will greet enthusiastically any tool they think will work. That's where projects like that of education professor Barbara Foreman come in. Foreman is a co-primary investigator on a project that received $4.5 million from IES to develop new comprehension assessment tests. She says she's honored to be a part of such a monumental educational initiative. And uh, this is the largest initiative that IES has has ever uh, engaged in. So this is really important for the nation. This is big science. In total, Florida State faculty were awarded 26 million of the 100 million dollars available through the Reading for Understanding initiative. This is Florida State Headlines. I'm Matt Rausch. Florida State Headlines is a service of the Florida State University Communications Group. For all your Florida State news, log on to FSU.com.